Alright guys, you're watching Peace Nader TV, second episode. Um, I want to talk about my trip to Illinois. Now, um, I go to a small Baptist church called Oakey Mountain Baptist Church. It's a pretty cool church. I mean, it's different than... It's a little country church. By country, I mean people there are very country. And, but... Despite, despite the fact that I'm not country, I still fit in there pretty well. Um, they're, people are pretty cool. I have a pastor, Pastor Brian Williams. Um, when I first moved up here, which was like eight years ago, he had like a mustache, just a mustache. And he kind of reminded me of Joe Sinem, I, that Sam guy from... Looney Tunes, you know, the one that's like, this town ain't big enough for the two of us, yeah, that guy, that one, short guy with the red mustache, cowboy, <laughs> no, but since then, a few years after I, a few years after I moved up, Pastor grew a goatee as well as the mustache, and it was no longer like Sam, though he still has a thick country accent. But anyway, um, anyway, so a while back, the church had thought about, decided to, that Macomb, Illinois is where we're going to have a mission trip this year. And up until a month ago, I, until like early May, I didn't, I didn't know where I was going. My mom said that, then my mom told me that me, my dad, and McKenna were going See, what we were going to do, we, what we did was we helped build a church. Now, the church wasn't done when, when we left, when we got back, came back home, but we did get, we still got a lot done, though. And, see, normally I'm not a fan of hard labor, you know, lifting and carrying stuff and all that. I mean, I know, I'm a big guy, but, you know, in the summer, well, I don't mind it so much in the, in the, when it's cool outside, but in the summer, I hate it. But there, it was just different. I kind of enjoyed being, I enjoy being there. I mean, despite the fact that we had to get up early, and, I mean, we were there, like, at, like, before 8, and, see, normally I wake up at, like, after nine, ten. Anyway, and um, yeah, we had we had food, we had snacks and stuff, and we had drinks. I man, we had a lot of Gatorade. I had a lot of Gatorade. I had more Gatorade that week than I had than I usually have in a year. Um. dinner came around, I surprisingly did not eat a lot. You would think I would. Normally, had it been last year, I would have. Last year, I was I was pretty fat. Well, and now, not, not so much. But, I mean, part of what has decreased my appetite are the stacker pills, I think. Which is a good thing, because I ate a lot last year. I still kind of eat a lot now, but I mean, I, not as much as I used to. Anyway, we'll get, get, let's get back to the trip here. Um, it's hot out here. Well, it's not so hot unless it's humid. Anyway, but the weather weather there was nice. Um, it wasn't... See... The first day... It, so we Okay, we left on June the 1st, and we... At like 6 in the morning. Um, and... We got there at like about eight, but here's the thing: that's eight o'clock there. It'd be about nine o'clock here, because because the time zone there is different. Um, so it was a pretty long ride. Um, on the way there, I did I did eat a foot long 
subway foot long, so that was pretty nice. It was a subway, it was part subway, part gas station. It was a pretty interesting gas station, too. Yeah, so anyway, um, and it was pretty nice. Foot long, five dollar foot long. Sorry. Okay. Um, yeah. The weather there was a lot nicer than the weather is here at this time of year. Are you kidding me? Oh, <laughs> okay. I really thought it was my dad pulling in because I was going to have to move my tripod. Okay, let's... The first thing I did, we went to, we stayed at a Best Western Hotel. Me, my dad, and McKenna. We all shared a room. And the problem was there were only two beds. And guess who, had, who got to sleep with McKenna? This guy. And I'm pretty sure you've seen McKenna in some of my videos last year. She's annoying is an understatement. I mean, she has good qualities, but there are times where I want to tie her to a chair and put duct tape on her mouth. Anyway, so yeah, I had to share a bed with her, and she was pretty, she did pretty disgusting. She, she would not, and she would not let me sleep. She kept bothering me constantly because, you know, she, she, she doesn't go to bed early. We were usually, we were in bed by 10 o'clock. And usually, so usually at home, I'm usually in bed by bed. I'm usually I'm usually asleep. Like I don't I don't go to sleep until almost twelve. I almost never sleep before eleven. But and neither does she. Oh, she she goes to bed later later than I do. She's usually up at like one or two in the morning watching TV. Anyway, so she kept me up. She kept being goofy and weird and I kept elbowing her. Then she just laughed. And that, yeah. So anyway, so, um, Sunday, sun, Sunday, the first full day we were there, um, we had breakfast at Best Western. Um, it was pretty good. They have they had omelets. Nothing special, just you know, just eggs with eggs like put together with ch cheese. They were good though. And there, McKenna, she has to leave right now. All right, where was I? So, um, see, I had an omelet, um, coffee, bagel. Actually, I saved the bagel for later. I think part of the reason why I didn't eat a lot on the trip was because before I, the day before I left was I bought I brought a big bag of gummy bears and a bag of um, pretzel pieces, buffalo, hot buffalo wing flavored pretzel pieces, and you know, those, those are so good, well, not good for me, but they taste good, haven't had, haven't had them since, but, I, I kind of ate, I finished all those snacks off by the end of the, by half, halfway through the week, but anyway, not talking about food here, we're talking about the trip. Um, so, yeah, we went to their old church. It's called First Baptist Church of Macomb. Um, and it's not like a Baptist church here in Georgia. 
difference. We live in the south, so yeah. They don't. I kind of like north, but I'm you know, getting off topic here. Um. So yeah, we hung out in the. Okay, so we we went to church there, and then we after church. Um, we went to Burger King, me, Dad, and Kenneth, not the rest of the church, but just us. I had a, I had a small burger, and I had a milkshake, or a Oreo milkshake, or something like that, cookies and cream, whatever. Pretty good. Um, and after that, we, uh, we went to Wal we walked to Walmart. I McKenna wanted to get a new swimsuit, but after after Hank being there for like 30 minutes, she couldn't find what she wanted, and we went back to the hotel. Are you kidding me? No. After we got back to the hotel, um, once we, I went to the, there was a little, there was a little workout room um, right next to the pool, and it had like a treadmill, exercise bike, um, and the thing that's where you stand and it looks, it's kind of has pedals. I don't know what it's called, but yeah, worked out. Then we went, we got in the pool, and then I, I came out. I got out, and that, as we were going up to the hotel, going up to my, our room, um, that was when I met a girl, a girl named Whitney. Actually, I didn't meet her then, but I saw her. She was talking to some of my friends from church, and what else? See, I wasn't wearing a shirt, and despite the weight I've lost, I still don't look good without a shirt yet. I'm still, I'm still kind of flabby, so I kind of covered myself with a towel, and I just kind of went up. And later on, we came down. See, I came down first because, well, I don't take as long as my dad and McKenna to get ready. Quick, especially since my hair was too short and straight. It's getting pretty long now, so now, it's, now I sh straighten it every once in a while. Yeah, getting off topic here. Okay, I got in the elevator first, and I got, and I just happened to be in the elevator with Whitney. That was when I first actually met her. Um, I wasn't, I mean, I, I thought she was cute, but you know. At that point, I had not really had any really serious feelings for her yet. I just, you know, thought she was cute. Didn't, wasn't really sure if I'd see her again or not. So yeah, um, we then went. We then went to the campsite where um, the rest of the church was staying. Not not the whole church came with us. Not not everyone that from our church came with us, but like about like half half of them. probably like a hundred people that go to our church and I think probably maybe not quite a hundred maybe it was like probably like I don't you know what no one cares okay sorry church sorry Oki but no one cares I'm just kidding but no we're, we're getting, getting off topic here I, I do that I ramble I talk about meaningless meaningless crap that no one cares about Okay, there I go again. Um, so yeah, we went to the campsite and um, they were cooking burgers and hot dogs. And it took them like, took them about two or three hours for, for them to cook them. Maybe two hours. I think, we, I think we got there at like five and we 
we left at like eight, so I think it was two hours, or two and a half hours, yeah. We ate, then we, then we left. But, okay, before we ate, I went down to the nature trail, went down to like the creek. Um, got some pictures, and see, when I got back, see, there was a, I realized there was a sign to the, on the nature trail that said, take only memories, and well, if you count digital photos taken with my Nikon, then yes, I took memories. So yeah, um, that was pretty nice. I freaking, like, that was pretty awesome. I got my sandals stuck in the mud though a few times, so my sandals were dirty. I had bought those sandals. Well, I didn't buy them. My parent, my mom had bought those sandals because I was broke at that time. Bought them back. Bought them from Walmart. I think in March because my other sandals that I've had, I've had for almost two years, they had started falling apart last year. And, well, I was tired of having duct tape covered sandals walking around with them in public. I look like white trash. <laughs> anyway, after waiting two and a half hours, we finally had burgers. And while we were waiting, um, some of my, some of the younger church members, they were playing, I think, hacky sack or something. It was kind of, I, I think it was with little bean bags or something, I, they throw them into like this thing with holes in it. Okay, I'm not really smart with, when it comes to these kind of things, so yeah, just bear with me. Calls it new hickey. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, so af after we left, I mean, after the, after we hung out, me, Dad, and McKenna, we went to Walmart again, and we got a few shirts. I got, I got a shirt that's currently in my profile picture on Facebook. Um, it says, you know what? I'll just show you the picture. So, the next day we. We left, we left at like 6.30, I think. Um, we didn't have breakfast at the hotel this time. We had breakfast at the old church. And I can't, to be honest, I, I missed the omelets. Uh, yeah, the omelets. But I did, I think I took a bagel with me though. No, maybe not the first day I did. I think it was the second day I brought a bagel. Anyway. So, yeah, um, when we got there, there was, only, there was like one, there was one section of the church that had concrete already poured in. The rest was gravel. And so half the people start, half the people started, um, putting up, like, putting together wood for siding and stuff. And see... There were several different, there, there were a few different churches that also came to help. It wasn't just, you know, like 30 something people from our church that went, that helped build the church. There were a few others. Some from Alabama. And some, some from Alabama, some from Kentucky, some from another part of Illinois. Some, I'm not really sure, you can, okay, here's the thing. I don't know how to, this is off topic, but. I'm not sure if you, if you pronounce it Illinois or Illinois. Okay, I'm not very bright with this. I'm not really smart when it comes to this kind of stuff. Yeah. So, try not to point and laugh at me. Actually, you know what? I don't care. Anyway, so, yeah, we... Some of the people from our church 
some of the younger people from our church, we, they were um, digging gravel, putting in wheelbarrow barrels, and like putting them in places. There was like a few, there was like a couple piles of gravel. So I helped them do that. Um, but it was pretty nice that day. I mean, it was sunny, so. But it was only, it only got up to like 70 degrees. So that was pretty nice. Here in Georgia, you don't, you never see that in June, pretty much never, not unless it's raining. But a sunny 70 degree day, that you don't see that until either the end of September or October. Anyway, despite the cool weather, I still did, I got very sunburned. I didn't even think about, I didn't, it didn't even cross my mind when I left hotel. And being there from like 8 to 5, well, I had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and a couple cookies and I think I had a, a little small Mountain Dew. Diet Mountain Dew. Yeah. Anyway, so after that we got we went back to work and stayed there for like until like five. And we actually at five thirty. We got back. Well actually we went to we went to the old church again. We had um, dinner and I saw that girl again. I saw Whitney again. She was looking at me for a second, like, so I went, I went through the line to get some food. Let's see, what, what did we have that day? Oh, we had some Italian chicken. And it was all right, it was pretty good. I had that and green beans and I think I had a piece of cake. Yeah. And I think I saw Whitney looking at me again or something for a few seconds there. And then I think that's when I started to like her more. I'm pretty sure it was probably wrong. I, maybe maybe there were maybe it was a complete misunderstanding, but nonetheless I still did start liking her more. And as I went down went back there to get like another little small thing of dessert. I think what I did was I went to take pictures of of the desserts. And you know, her grandma, she asked me, do you think Whitney is cute? And right there, that is when that somewhat awkward moment got really awkward. I didn't really know what to say. I, my face turned, well, my face was already red, but <laughs> it turned even more red. And I was like, I got to be somewhere. See, I, I suck at talking to women. Anyone who knows me knows that. I already knew that. See, I'm, I've been in awkward situa situations before, but not, not that kind of awkward situation. At least not recently. So anyway... I went back to finish my food, then I went outside, um, and we saw Whit and I saw Whitney again with a few of my friends from church. Um, they kind of looked at me for a second, they kind of giggled, and they kind of ran off. I was like, okay, well, yeah. The next day, um, oh wait, what did, what did I do that day? Oh, I kind of, you know what, I kind of, okay, that, all right, when we got back to the hotel, and I was, I went swimming and stuff, and I, then I, I kind of tried to avoid her, because, I don't know, I, I don't really know why I did that. I was acting like a 12-year-old. I was acting like an idiot. Yeah. So the 
next day, we I went we went back to work and we had breakfast at the at the church again. And oh, my sandals! One of my sandals broke, so I had to get new shoes. Well, I got shoes. I went I went with one of my friends, one of my someone from church that I knew. Um, her name's Kay. We went to a thrift store, got me some new white tennis shoes. They're pretty cool. Now, that being said, I would rather wear sandals in the summer with shorts. Sandals with I don't wear I don't wear tennis shoes with shorts. I just don't. I only wear actual any of those, any those kind of shoes when I'm wearing pants. So, but I did wear them that week. And I want to skip through that day till like to lunch. I mean, no, dinner. Yeah. I will say this. I did I did become closer with some of the people from church that I knew. But, yeah. Enough said. I took a lot of pictures that week. A lot of pictures that day, too. Getting off topic here. Um, we went to... Where did we go again? Oh yeah, we did. We went to dinner, and I saw Whitney. I was like, "Hey, Whitney," or whatever, you know. And and after after we ate dinner, um, I said to her, "Like, hey, Whitney, I'm I I apologize for the way I was yesterday." You know, she said it's cool, whatever. And anyway, we went back to the hotel. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention. That day, I scraped my knee when I was at, we were, as we were carrying stuff, I, I fell, I slipped and fell on the gravel, and badly scraped my leg, like, right here. But, it wasn't really, it wasn't really that painful. The painful part was when they put liquid bandage on my, on here, which... I don't really see the point in that stuff, but like, whatever. I'm not a doctor. And, yeah. That was kind of, that kind of became the joke of the week. My leg. Especially when two days later I fell again. I fell, fell twice. And I'll get to that. Um... Nothing really happened that afternoon after that, so I'm going to skip to Wednesday. Alright, Wednesday. So, that was pretty much, I'm going to skip, okay, one, okay, Wednesday, alright, Wednesday, um, we, this time we did not have breakfast at the old church, instead we had breakfast at the hotel. So I got to experience those omelets again. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry, weird. I'm weird, but yeah, get used to it. Deal with it. What did we have for lunch? Oh, okay. For lunch, see, we had lunch at, at the at the site. It was like under a tent. We had hoagies, or basically sub sandwiches. I don't really know why they're called hoagies. I thought. I kind of picture something something else, and the name just sounds disgusting, like a hoagie, like ugh, yeah. Anyway, so okay, at at dinner time I didn't see Whitney this time, but went back to the hotel and I was considering going swimming. I think actually no, I I was just I think I was thinking about it, but then I saw I saw Whitney and friends from church. Whitney was hiding behind one of my friends. I was like, what the heck? I I was I got pretty pissed. And I remember my status when I went back I decided not to go swimming and I went back up went back up to my room and you know posted on Facebook saying I I just don't understand women which I still I still feel that way sometimes. 
I think that's how all gu most guys. I think that's pretty much how all guys feel. Whatever. It's getting dark, so I need to wrap this up. Um. I. My dad decided to make me go swimming with McKenna because you know, dad always takes McKenna's side because well, she's her. She's his spoiled little princess. To me, she's just my little spoiled little brat sister. So yeah, I went swimming. I went swimming with her for like five minutes, and I think I remember that day I. I went on the treadmill for like a few minutes, and then it stopped working. I think that's the treadmill's way of saying, dude, you're fat. Which I, hey, now, I'm, I'm trying here. I'm just a giant, that's all, I'm just a big guy. I'm not too so fat. I'm getting off topic here. All right, so. After that, I decided to watch Big Bang Theory on the TV in the lobby. And see, in the there's a the room next to it. You know, it's the breakfast room, and that's where Whitney and church friends were hanging out, younger church friends. And you know, I tried not to go in there. I just wanted to hang out in the lobby and watch Big Bang Theory. But you know, the, the list with the channel numbers, well, it turned out to be in the breakfast room. So I had to face seeing Whitney again. I figured at that point that she prob probably hated me or something. It's like, uh, you know what, I just want to go home. You know, whatever. So I went in there, but I just, I just went in there and looked for it. and I found it, and she said, hey, Cody, and I'm like, hated me and and like actually talked to me and I was like what the heck so yeah um, I found a TV guide and watched a little bit of Big Bang Theory oh yeah McKenna stayed in the pool for a while like after I left left the, I left that part out yeah I think that was um, after that, I I went upstairs, went to bed, and then the next day, um, the next day was the last full day where we were there. Um, the last day of working it was Thursday, and I got a lot of pictures that day. Actually, I got a lot of pictures every day, but you know. Um, got some pictures with, you know, cute little girl, cute girl I met. I mean, she, she's cute. I don't really have any feelings for her. But she's just cute. She's cheap. She's a little too young for me. So, yeah. Um, but she, she was cool. I still got a picture with her. Not with my arm around her or anything. Just kind of like, like a friend. I didn't do any stupid peace sign like what I did back in high school. So, yeah. Anyway, um, moving on here, um, after the whole working and stuff, I, actually, you know what, you want to see a video, you know what, I don't care what you want, I'm going to post a, a short video, here's a, here's a short video of just the play.
I didn't. Well, sign it, son. I don't have a sharpie. That lady right there has got one. Maybe she gets one. Or Dave, uh, Dave's got one. The, the piece of it. saw Whitney again. You know, I just like I decided to put this whole mess, the whole dad stuff behind me. And like, I mean, I wasn't gonna see her again. The least I could do was get a picture with her. So that's what I did. After that, we went back to the church to just kind of do a little short service. Like some people, some people kind of some. Preachers from different churches, you know, they kind of just talked a little bit. One preacher from, like, I think from Alabama or whatever, he, he flagged and he, I'm not racist, I think black people are awesome. But no, he, he sang and, you know. Mom, and you know they 
they cared, so and, uh, they kind of came up to me, and they suggested I get some paper towels and wipe my leg and all that. So that was pretty awesome. I mean, they were they kind of they they kind of took care of me, sort of. And what I said was, "What doesn't kill you makes you stronger." I mean, this is nothing. I've I've had way worse pains than this before. I mean, heck, when I was 15, I I was running up to the apartment above the garage, and I slipped on some wood. It was raining that day, and I was pretty fat then too. And I hit, bruised my leg, and I had to wear crutches for the next week. And it hurt like heck. I mean, it was that was terrible. I mean, I even cried. That's how bad it was, and I almost never cry. But anyway, moving on here, I I went back to the I went back to the hotel and. I think I, no, no, I just packed up. I don't think I worked out that last day. We, we got back like, like after, like about eight, I think. Anyway, so let's move on here. Um, the next day, actually, no, I take that back. McKenna went swimming when I, I stayed up, I stayed up, I stayed up in the room on my computer just doing a few more things using my old laptop piece of junk so I couldn't really get much done and we had to, we had we went to bed pretty early like at nine and McKenna stayed in the pool till about 9 30 and she finally came out see I went I went down there at like nine because dad told me to and, and see you had to have like the the card the room card to get into the pool room and McKenna had it, so I couldn't get in there, and so I had to look for the window and kind of like tell her to come on. She couldn't hear me, but she could see me, and she was like, like "Dude, yeah." But then I then I saw Whitney one last time, and one thing I one thing I remember now is that it was a got a guy from my church earlier that day when we were at the place and at the job site, and Whitney was there for a short period of time. See a guy from a church named Michael, I was I kinda he asked me, Is that the girl you like? I was like, dude I was like, she's I I mean I don't know. She kinda heard me. She kinda heard what was going on. Anyway. She kinda asked me what I said and all that. And I finally admitted it later on that day. Like I said, all right, fine. I like you, all right? Yeah. Anyway, so here's the thing. She lives in Alabama, so it, it wouldn't have worked. I don't, I don't know. Long, you know, you know how they, they always, you know the saying, long distance, long distance relationships don't work. So yeah, we went. Went back. Wait. So yeah, I saw her again one last time, and went back. To, went back to bed, and Kenna came back. And the next morning, I had breakfast there, and my face had, at that point, had already started peeling. So I looked like I was on drugs. I looked like a meth head or something. Which I don't do any of that stuff. You should all know that by now. All right. So after that, we cause we were supposed we were supposed to leave at like six, but everyone from church took forever to get ready. See, I was the first one out the door, mainly because I packed half half my stuff up the night before. But so I had breakfast and waited about two hours for them to show up. And we 
finally left at like 8. And let's see, it was a really long trip. And half the trip, I thought about Whitney. I really, I felt kind of sad, kind of sad actually. I was going to miss her. And, you know, I'll admit, actually, at one point, I kind of got a little teary eyed. You know, before I left the trip, I mean, before I left to go to Illinois, I, I was like, I'm cool with being single. I mean, I got a lot to do before I can be in a relationship. I'm not even going to think about women right now. And I had that mindset for like a while. And I was completely fine with that. Then I had, then I had to go ruin it and meet Whitney. Actually, no, Whit, you know, it's all Whitney's fault. She had to be so awesome that... Why did she have to be so awesome? <laughs> Alright, I'm kidding Whitney. If you ever see this video, which you probably, I don't know. I did add her on Facebook like the, the week after. But anyway, we, we've only talked like a few times. Anyway, moving on here. Um, trip for, took forever. We finally got back at, I finally got home at like 2 in the morning. And I decided to just to stay up, not sleep. I wanted to change, put my sleep cycle, kind of wanted to reset my sleep cycle because before I had left, I had been going to bed at like, like after 11 and waking up at like 10 in the morning. Unfortunately though, that all-nighter did not fix my sleep cycle at all. I mean, now I still go to bed at like almost 12, but I do, I don't sleep in quite as late. But yeah, that, that's a wrap, alright? It was, I had a great time, and I really, it was an awesome week. And if, if I would really, I'm really looking forward to next year's fishing trip. I have no idea where it's going to be or what exactly it's going to be about. What, what exactly it is, but I'm looking forward to it. Maybe I might see Whitney again, or I might see, I don't know. But I'm, but about Whitney, I'm kind of, I'm feeling, I'm feeling a lot better now. See, that weekend I felt terrible. I felt sad that weekend that I was back. But now I'm like, there are other fish in the sea. That's what people have been telling me ever since I got back. <laughs> like, you know, one, like one person told me that at church. Um, said, I don't want, I don't want other fish, I want, I want that fish. Another person said, dude, you've only known her for like five days. Uh, and I was like, yeah, and those are the best five days of my life. Heck, during that church service, I cried. I mean, I kind of cried, like, you know, one of my friends from church, my older friends from church, she's like, she, her name's Melanie, and she was, she said she kind of felt bad about leaving because, because she kind of felt the peop, people, the people from, the people from the other churches were kind of family to her and stuff, people from Illinois. And that was when I cried. I was like, I miss Whitney. I didn't actually say that because, well, I had some dignity. Don't laugh. Um, one thing to try to lighten up the mood. Um, what, you know, Pastor Brian said to me, you know, man, I'm really proud of you for working so hard. Okay, that was, that was kind of a douchey thing for me to kind of imitate country accent. But yeah, oh, he's, a, he's cool. I'm terrible at country, I'm ter terrible at any accent, but we're getting off topic here. Um, and I said, you know, Part of what motivated me was seeing those girls watch me, and everyone laughed. I was like, all right, then. I felt pretty good, I guess. I'm, I feel I feel a lot better now, so anyway, but that's pretty much it. It's been great. Probably, I'll probably do another video maybe this weekend or next weekend, next week or so.
that episode will probably probably be about just kind of a short. It'll be uh, it'll definitely it'll definitely be shorter. Um, kind of talk about like the weird things that make me me, weird things I've done in the past, and all that junk. So that's a wrap. It's been great, guys. See you next time.